separating mixed costs. Um, when cost is classified as mix, it is appropriate to separate the fixed cost from the variable cost. Once the method in separating mixed cost is the high-low method, the procedure starts from selecting the highest and lowest levels of activity in a given set of data within the relevant range. Then, determine the changes in activity and cost by subtracting low values from high values. These changes are used to calculate the variable cost, variable unit cost contained in the mixed cost. The fixed portion of the mixed cost is calculated by subtracting total variable costs from total mixed costs. So, again, um, it says here that the high-low method, um, in order to get that, you select the highest and lowest you select the highest and lowest levels of activity. Okay? So, select the highest and lowest activity that would be your driving factor. Okay? So, for this example, we're gonna get the highest and lowest activity. Okay? So, let me ask you, where in here is the, the column for your activity? Is it this one or this one? Is it the direct is it the direct label direct labor R's or the cost 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 column? So the activity level column would be your direct direct labor R's. Okay? So based from the um, general rule we get the highest and low the lowest activity level. So for this one, um, we have here a six month total. Um, gonna get the lowest first so the lowest in here is the um, 24 24 hours okay and your highest would be uh, 47 so now you've determined already the um, lowest the highest um, level of activity you now plot it here okay so for your direct labor hours um, you put in here your lowest your lowest of 24 and your highest highest level of activity which is 47 okay and then put it put its corresponding costs okay so for the lowest the, the, the cost associated with that with that would be 726 pesos so I put 726 here okay and then um you get the associated costs for the highest level of activity of 47 which is no no so so this should be 726 while the lowest would be 565 from here you get the difference between the lowest points so you get the difference of this 47 less 24 that would be 23 and then the difference of your cost of the highest and lowest cost which is 726 less 565 you're gonna have 161 pesos okay. so now you've already established the difference of this one you now get the variable rate per direct labor hour how do you do it you divide your cost um, all over um, the direct labor arts or level of activity. Okay, so you're gonna have 161 divided by 23. Your variable rate for direct labor R would be 7. Okay, so now this is a mixed cost, right? So now you've already determined the first component of what which is a variable cost. You know already the variable cost per unit which is 7 pesos okay so now let's get the um, fixed fix component okay so here again this is the variable component this one okay so for this one this would be the section for getting the fixed cost component so again, you get the cost for the highest and lowest point, which is 726 and 565. Okay? And then now, 
get the variable cost per unit for each um, for the level of activity okay so what you do here is that you multiply the level of activity or the direct, direct labor hours by your variable cost per unit which which is seven pesos okay so let's get the highest point first so here you have 47 hours okay times seven pesos the answer would be 329 okay so the total variable cost for the highest would be 329 pesos for the lowest you're gonna get its uh, level of activity which is 24 multiplied by your variable cost per unit of 7 pesos you're gonna get 24 times 7 you're gonna have 168 so here you already have your total cost okay we're assuming here total cost total cost and we already have our total variable costs which is for the high you have your 329 and for the lowest you have your 168 so subtract these figures the total fixed cost and the variable total variable cost we're gonna have 726 less 329 397 and to prove it the lowest should be 397 too. so 565 less 168 we're gonna have 397 also understood so again the concept first is um, determine which column which column is the um, le uh, pertains to the level of activity okay so in here the column for the um, level of activity would be the direct labor hours okay so from here you get the highest and lowest level of activity okay so you got 24 and 47 then you plot it in here okay and then you get and then you ask and then you get the associated um, cost for each highest, highest and lowest points okay so from here you get the difference between the highest and lowest points for the level of activity and the highest and lowest points for the cost okay so 47 plus 24 you have 23 the difference for the level of activity and uh, for the cost you have 161 so to get the variable cost per unit um, you multiply the cost by um, the level of activity which is the direct labor hours so you're gonna have seven pesos um, per unit variable unit variable unit so from here now you've already known the first component of the mixed cost which is a variable you now get the um, fixed cost okay so how do you get the fixed cost again you plot again the high highest and lowest the cost for that one the total cost so here 726 and 565 okay and then you get the total variable cost how do you get the total variable cost you multiply the level of activity it's for highest you get 47 multiplied by 7 pesos which is the variable rate per unit and then you get and then you multiply that one you're gonna have a total variable cost of 329 same goes for the lowest you're gonna have the 168 pesos so again now you've known the total now you have the um, um, total cost you mo you subtract it with your total variable cost in for you to get the um, total fixed cost of 397 pesos